Give you a pack seven. <laughs> I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you enjoy that my uptime is so precise. Like, anybody could make their uptime that precise who, like, coded, but everybody else understands that nobody wants the uh, milliseconds included, so they don't. But yeah. I prefer to troll a little than be useful. That's my general approach to life. Why don't they? <laughs> Something about, like, conveying useful data to people and not flooding them with data which they don't need. I don't know. Okay. Alles klar. Move, move, move. Oh, that specialist is, like, not a real soldier. Oh, this isn't a real soldier either. How the f... Like, what? How can I possibly ever win this? Oh, by like standing inside the room and closing the door. All right, well, that's good. Let's go stand inside the room and close the door. Done, did it, what? It's the follow up in the stream. Yeah, we can't ever kill that pod. Thanks for patrolling away, Drown. I was having flashbacks to the first door incident right there. Yeah, this is the exact same room. It's the exact same room, but there's a box in it this time, I believe. There's also a pot in it. That will be fun. Uh, it's just eight enemies, so that should be a pot of three, plus another solo drone somewhere on the map, I would imagine. I like how many of my soldiers get to use submachine guns in this campaign. It makes us very quick to move around the map. <laughs> Please shoot me now. <laughs> uh, okay. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Verstanden. Rück ab. Will do. 10-4. No, don't come this way. Go the other way. Oh, whatever. They weren't even close. They weren't even close. Rolling. We've got a hostile squad here. How'd they get there? And why are there four of them? I think that's two different that's two different pods. Okay. Well that's pretty awkward. Sucks that there's a mech in there. Book of Eons does not have stasis. Doesn't have any ability that can do anything to the mech. I might fail the mission. I might just blow that up. And evac. We can do better though. Right? We can do better. Can we do better? We might not be able to do better. Got it. Moving. Oh, we can run past them. No, we just run past them. We're fine. Oh my God. We're fine. We probably can't run past them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Los gates. If we pull both pods at once, we just have to run into the Rolling corner out. of the map and try not to die before evac arrives. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to fight them and then successfully kill them if that happens. But what we should do is run into the corner of the map and wait until Evac arrives. Everyone on this mission is dead. Maybe. We'll see. Piss off. Stop. Go away. You're not wanted here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Um, if I blow this up, I presumably blow up the objective, right? Let's 
go on the rooftop even. Understood. Moving out. It's a Moving. level one specialist. Can we lose sight of the pot on the right real quick, maybe? Orders confirmed. Moving out. Good copy. Moving on target. We have to haywire the drone. We're not going to have 100%. We're not even close to 100%. It's coming to the technical and revealing us next turn, though. So this is better than not doing it. Hey, you llama chomp! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm getting progressively more and more upset with myself for doing this to myself. That's how, that's how the ballistic weapons campaign goes. Oh god. Oh god. Not getting invisible here. Um not ideal. Not the best. So what actually is it? It's a gunner, mech, sentry. Is it dead? Oh my god. Rocket target. These guys are 100% patrolling in next turn as well. Just mind control it? Yeah. Let's just mind control it. Are you unwell? Okay. Um... The drone is going to be a, be a problem, possibly. It's not impossible that that's true. <laughs> if I just stand Martin Miller here... Did I yellow alert yet? I don't actually think I've yellow alerted stuff yet. If I sh shoot, I would be. But right now... I have to fire a rocket though, don't I? Hmm. This pot over here is gonna come in. Maybe somebody will go to there? Probably not. Yeah, I'm struggling to work out how we win this even with a mind controlled <laughs> guy who we don't deserve to have. I won't run that way. The mech's going to micro missile. Three guys. Grand problem, boss. Fortify here rather than moving. Let's blow that up. Ideally, blow up the wall a little bit. Did I do that? Oh! I was <laughs> so close. I really wanted to blow a hole in this wall so I could hack. That's not enough. Right? Well, we'll do what we can. Naturally. 
evac flare will yellow alert. Um, well, the rocket will. No, evac flare doesn't cause yellow alert. It's only sound. Sound or corpses or beating the objective will as well. I'm so confused. It keeps on giving me this guy. It says he has one action. Oh, it's because he has covering fire. Is he going to kill the mech? He might kill the mech with covering fire. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> There has never been any moment on this mission where I doubted my soldiers. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. I mean, of course that's what happened. <laughs> so that's a bug. He shouldn't have had that action. He gets given the action, I guess, because he has... Um, ready for anything? I think gives him a free action. I don't know. I don't know why he had that action. I I actually don't know. But it seemed to work pretty okay for us. It's mind controlled and so at the start of the alien's turn, two turns from now. Ready for anything. What does it do? Enter Overwatch after firing a standard shot with your primary weapon. So I don't get to go on Overwatch over. Oh, I can if I go there, but I don't have bullets. I think I'm just gonna put this guy over this way to tank for us. There's one solo drone left on the map, and otherwise everything is pulled. Blue move first. I could also do that. Let's do the other stuff we're doing this turn. I don't think we get the luxury of moving to cover. Move up and shoot it with a sun off. It has a large AOE concussion rocket, but it's... It's gonna miss one of them if I move and fire. And this way it will hit both. Yeah, we just don't need cover. Why wouldn't I take Salvo on a Grenadier? Is there other things you can take on a Grenadier? I'm pretty sure it's the answer. Dreadlord! Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I seem to have given them a smoke grenade. This is why... This is why I don't think that perk's very good. Alright, well, whoops. In retrospect, yes, I see how this is less than ideal. gonna take some wounds here this is a like level one specialist though so we don't really care about her the ranger is i mean he wants to be here so that he can both barrels soon cool
Concussion Rocket is is very bad, Lava Chomp. But in a campaign where it doesn't matter if they're in smoke because you can't shoot them anyway, we're getting somewhere. We're like halfway there. It's almost good. I had a really good Concussion Rocket in my last... I can handle that. Last mission? Two missions ago? I don't know. I had an incredible one. It was the first time it's ever been good for me. So I... I remember it well. Insanity. Insanity seems better than whatever the other option is. We disoriented him. Okay. That's fun. Grenadier needs to not be standing next to the other people. I like that I have rapid deployment and four frag grenades. There were two different versions of past Steven who had very different ideas of what exactly the soldier did. So the mech's gonna missile us. The other two guys will shoot here, I hope. The mech's gonna walk forward so the ranger can kill it. Thought we were far enough away to only get hit twice there. Incorrect, it turns out. That guy was stunned? I didn't realize he was stunned. Okay, three turns left on the mission. We have one hit point left on the specialist. That's all you need. All you need. Chip in a chair and one hit point. Actually, there's a solo drone on the map. It would be very embarrassing if I ran my specialist into a solo drone and uh, had the drone kill it. I'm not sure how the sentry made the cut. What has he even done? What has he even done for us at this point? Can't think of a single thing. I think it is a 50-50 to debuff, yeah. Well, the debuff is a stun for an entire turn, though. So it's at least a good debuff. That's the entire, like... It's a good debuff if it happens. That's that's all you can really say about it. Is it clear? This is for you. Well, the fact that all of my soldiers require three weeks before they can go on their next mission makes me feel a little bit better about not generating that many missions to go on. a really fun fight. If I don't mind control the Guardian, maybe. Thank you, Project PT, for the host. Oh, much appreciated. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I don't squad wipe if I fail to mind control the guardian but there's a pretty good chance that i just do squad wipe uh concussion rocket also crashes your game like quite regularly so that's the thing that i've discovered about it this is the third time today and it's 1000 percent concussion rocket and yeah i don't know I don't know if turning down my graphics settings would help. Maybe. Do we know Project PT, Smurf? We like Project PT's beard. You've never said that you liked my beard before, Smurf. Bug found is bug fixed. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, well, this is the first time anybody's ever used concussion rockets, so now we know. I have to do all of this again. Let's just try to make it as painless as possible. At least I know the actions I'm taking, and I don't believe any of them were, like, uh, variable. I take it back. That was variable. Concussion rocket is a bug you didn't alt F4. <laughs> you just hold it until the end of the turn and then uh, just fire your concussion rocket off and like scroll the screen really, really quickly to try to crash the game. Brandon thinks the follow up to the stream. I like the strategy in Lava Chomp. That last one was weird because I wasn't even like looking at the smoke. And it's not like my frames are dropping in the game, either. I think there's there must be something that's like running out of memory assigned to it, or something like that. I I don't. Your body grows weak. My understanding is the problem is inside the computer. I'm no uh, I'm no doctor or whatever it is, you know, the people who know about this stuff. <laughs> you 10 out of 10 breakdown perk. <laughs> Lord Jason, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Wait, what if I go in there and the drone's in there? I'm just really looking forward to failing the mission because my specialist gets killed by a drone. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage right now. It seems pretty one, but I'm confident that I can find a way. Oh, it was over there. I wonder if it was trying to flank us. It was coming in hot. Do you think drones can like play Ride of the Valkyries or whatever out of their like, I don't know, smiles? I can't actually kill that. <laughs> There's actually no way. No way that it's going to die this turn at all. What difficulty is the challenge on? This is Legend Iron Man. Maybe. We get some good damage here. Maybe the ranger can finish killing it. I've never experienced drone AI in this exact situation where it could move and shoot someone lethally. It's just not a thing that I've ever seen a drone able to do. On the move. I think if we gave it the option, it would move and stun still instead of shooting. But now it's just going to shoot without even thinking about it. Okay. That's it. We won. That was like, that was this campaign encapsulated in one mission. That's, that's just like all of the highs and lows all at once. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. No need to ask twice. Where's Robo Jumper at? Location confirmed. He's probably busy doing other things. Popular man these days, that Robo Jumper. Location confirmed. Here. I've just really wanted to blow that up for the Moving entire mission, so I'm going to blow it up now that I can. I so much wanted to blow this up when the pod was next to it, but it was going to destroy the crate. Yeah, 
yeah, very, very easily destroy the crate. So I didn't get to. Oh, well. It was somewhat satisfying. Somewhat satisfying to get it there. Surprised I'm running rangers at all. Yeah, not really deliberately. Um, I just leveled up rookies and got two of them at the start of the game. And I haven't quite... quite made it to the point where they're so bad that I stopped bringing them at all. We're almost there? I don't know. I'm training... Like, in theory, they have covering fire, so minus 10 aim on re reaction shots, and they have three reaction shots if we get to Gunnery Sergeant, which removes yellow alert from, like, an entire pod. But only for, like, a month, because after that, the pods are just led by Archons with lightning reflexes. Three I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't gotta pump know. those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Dan and Stuff is extremely impressed with the progress of my... Um, where's Streamlabs at? It's not even open. With the progress of my weapons research thus far, Commander, your recent Three, results times, were beyond our expectations. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. <laughs> that is not a statement this donation makes lightly. Thank you very much for the $5 donation, Dan and Stuff. Dan and Stuff with the hard carry on the stream today. Of eons is ready to level. 11 missions, 17 kills. Poor, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. What's next for you, Martin Miller, my first staff sergeant? I'll probably try to level him all the way to tech sergeant so I can get the AWC second room earlier. Frost the Gray, thanks for the follow up of the stream. Um, thanks for conditioning. Wait, I was thinking that with Bring Him On, my assaults could actually deal damage late in the campaign. We still want Formidable, right? Because... Untouchable seems very ambitious with a Ballistic Shotgun. Yeah, we go Formidable. And Yura probably takes Suppression. Go all the way down the right side. Rupture? Is that good? I can't decide if that's good. I don't know. I don't know what the campaign's gonna look like at that point. Sleep well, Project PT. Enjoy your rest. There are more dungeons to destroy tomorrow. Yeah, Rupture does seem like the best way to deal damage. Short of like Kubi Kiri, Psy Perks. Does Mind Control deal damage? I don't know if Mind Control deals damage. Like it sort of does. It makes all of the hit points of the thing you're attacking on your team instead of their team. It sort of deals damage. We're going to do this. We just, we felt so good about that team on that last mission that we were just going to turn them right around and send them out again. I guess. I might let them hunt me. Might just let them hunt me. Brads, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. That is not just just like no that's not that's not how you XCOM <laughs> both this team and also just the barracks in general right now I I'm somewhat uninspired by this destroying an alien relay as well so it will take us five turns once we get there yeah I'll pass I'll pass they're just gonna get to hunt us it took a very long time for the loadout music to go away there. All right, let's scan in New Mexico. Looks like it's strength one somehow. 
So strength transferred from New Mexico to Eastern US, I guess. Okay. It'd be nice to get missions in a region that wasn't strength four. Grenadier technical or specialist with a psyop. Yeah. Yeah, that's the general idea, Llama Chomp. I think I'll have Shinobis too. Shinobi swords actually can be improved with autopsies, so I don't need to like research any weapon stuff to get damage out of them. Shinobis have some okay synergies with Psy operatives too. And some very bad ones. Uh, some of them are good. I don't know. A mission? Perhaps a mission which gave me any money at all. Hack workstation, advent train, find a lead, 22 intel is the reward. I'm going to solo rookie this. I haven't been doing this a lot this campaign because I've been leveling all of my rookies into psi operatives, but we've reached the point where that's no longer really appealing. I also have been generating fairly good long timer missions in general, and not a ton of them at once, so I've been able to take regular teams. But we've now reached a point where we can start suiciding rookies on things like a hack workstation. That should be Liberation 1. I don't think it will be a UFO. It would be weird if it were a UFO. I think just keeping on recruiting is fine. A corporal sharpshooter. Don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Pretty pretty sure I don't care. All right. Incendiary grenades in 1.4 always burn targets. One of the changes for 1.5 is reducing the burn chance to like 70% or something, which is still very, very strong, but slightly less ridiculous. I don't know if we got this to two ticks. Probably we didn't. So it will be... 10 enemies. I have a ton of intel right now. I don't have strong soldiers and I don't have any reason to expand. So I'm just going to boost this. I really need resources. I have tons of intel. I can generate intel by suiciding on hacks, whereas I can't really generate resources. I just didn't feel like this team could win without some help. <laughs> 